The sense of age varies greatly between our field sites, not least because of differences in life expectancy. In Kampala, people who are 40 may feel they are quite old, while in Kyoto they may not feel particularly old even in their 80s. In many places, there has been a huge change in the experience of ageing. This was the case in Ireland. We found that there is no longer any distinct category of elderly. People just feel continuity from youth until they become frail. So frailty is the new old age, and this can be physical, mental or financial. This varies depending on the field site. Our Palestinian research participants remain comfortable in being regarded as seniors, and many grandmothers in Milan associate with the traditional figure of the nonna, though with new digital versions. There is an equally varied relationship to retirement. The Peruvian migrants living in Santiago can't imagine retiring as they care for both their young adult children and parents living back in Peru. People in Sao Paulo retire, but they want to find continuity with their previous employment, often taking up new activities that make use of the skills they accumulated in their career. People in Shanghai want to explore possibilities in retirement that they were prevented from exploring when younger during the Cultural Revolution, while in Dublin it is more common for people to focus on crafting a new active retirement life that may have no reference to their prior employment. For more on our findings about the social categories of ageing, you can follow our blog and social media and there find out about our open access books, our films and free university course.